Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Funky Steve's Medinas. So we've had a few uh, past couple episodes where we've taken some severe damage on our mechs, but we haven't lost one yet, which is probably good. Um, so let's have a look at the mech bay. We picked up a Victor last time. It's still getting itself uh, um, general repair. We pulled all the junk off it. Um, we're repairing all the armor and stuff. So that's still underway. Centurion's still underway as well. Um, it's a good thing we only lost the one arm because it really just, I think it had a heat sink and um, a lower arm actuator in it and that's really it. So we didn't really lose anything valuable off that mech, so that's good. The um, Hunchback uh, J, I think it was? No, it's the 4P, the new one. Yeah, the medium laser one. We did lose the Stealth Axe, but we picked up an NSS, which we were able to put in there. We lost the other bigger fusion core, so we put a smaller one in, and, we, and I think in a way it's kind of better because we put four heat sinks in as well. So this guy will be stealthier. Uh, it'll be a little slower, um, but uh, we with the four heat sinks we'll be able to fire our lasers a lot more often. So that's a bonus. And everything else, these two other guys are back to where they were. The Jager mech we haven't touched yet. We wanted to wait till we get uh, some more stuff to be able to get this guy updated. So we're waiting on that. Um, but right now. There is another factory on this planet that I think we can probably hit. It's iffy whether or not we can pull it off, but um, it is a military facility, so what we want to do is go down, basically level everything uh, in order for Samari to bring the Leopard in, because we don't want any of their ground troops in the buildings to uh, give us hassle when we're trying to load up all the um, supplies and stuff. So we're going to go down and take that on. So I'll see everybody down on the surface. So this is about a three skull difficulty mission, so we're going to have definitely Lance and Max and turrets. We need to make sure that if they are direct fire turrets that we are out of line of sight, so... It's interesting how we're going to do this, I don't know. Let's see what we're doing here. So let's slowly start to move in. Yes, Commander. Let's not reserve. I don't want to incur the uh, Roger. Um, hesitation Reporting enemy contact. negative. So, I have no idea what to expect here. Got really low rolls on these guys. Probably a good thing. These either guys have heavy mechs and are experienced pilots or have medium mechs, which is what I'm really hoping for. Hunchback's got a lot of evasion now. Standing by. Even with the smaller engine, engine, um, it's working out pretty well, I think. Full throttle. Let's get these PPCs in where we can do the most damage. Well, you're not really the most. Um, have to take the hesitation loss, I think. Nope, let's just target the front guy. I think we're pretty good from turrets with the exception of this one here. Maybe the front turret can see us too, I'm not sure yet, but... What do we got here? Jenner RX. It's a lot lighter than I was expecting. They might have reinforcements coming. Wow, are you serious? It's almost like the uh, lasers got curved around that thing. Like a gravity well or something, they just kind of went right around it. Yes, Commander. Uh, we'll find out what we're up against here and have lots of evasion and defense. Moving out. Well, relatively. What do we got? Javelin 11. Firestarter K. And Cicada 2B. Wow, this is a lot lighter defenses than I thought was going to be here. Compared to the last mission with four assault turrets and like basically a heavy lance. But then again, those turrets could be nasty too, right? So let's find out. Why am I lagging on these guys? It just happens on like it's fine now. Something that I haven't experienced in the last version of Rogue Tech. I think it's the I don't think it's Rogue Tech, I think it's Battle Tech. Nine. 
All right, let's just move into here. Okay. Going full throttle. Fire the missiles on this guy since they're the best chance to hit. All right, that's a good start. Waiting for orders. We need a targeting computer. 4633. A little better on this guy. Let's fire the generator, see if we can hit that CT. Locking in all weapons. Yeah. Eh. Eh. Comes those turrets. Okay. Tower XL, light engine, spa liner. Um, waiting for orders. I think the more we move to the uh, left, the better chance they have of hitting us. So let's move into here. All right. Yeah, pretty good chances on this guy. See if we can take him out. Back, Commander. Okay, wow, well, we lost the spawn liner. Critical hit, Commander. So spawn liner, if you don't know what that does, it uh, reduces the crit chances. It's gonna be very helpful. So we're gonna move in, eh? Ready for orders. Let's get up here. I copy. And what do we got in this guy? Really good chances. Let's just fire the side of the javelin. Firing all weapons. Wow, nice shooting. All of them connected. And goodbye. Hostile removed. Sure was. Oh, I hate these bad animations. I could excuse it if the whole thing was laggy like that, but when it just lags when you're running, it's kind of a pain in the ass. This guy's got no armor. So let's target this guy. All weapons committed. Wow. Minus seven initiative. Well, that's got to suck for him. What do you got left in the CT here? 30? Right, you're the large laser burner. Not very not yet. Two flamers, two mediums, and a large, I think. No, two smalls, two me two flamers and a large. And you didn't move. Wow. What's up, boss? Cajonis, man. You got the cajonis. Well, what do you got left here? These mechs really aren't the ones that should be fighting here. Um, let's go this route. Oh, yeah. We got fast light mechs like this. Let's just don't put them in water. Wow, you did not hit any of the vital areas that we wanted. Here comes the Chicada. Find out how many of those turrets can see us there. Once again, using this rock in the middle of the water. The only time this can be, like I said, really, really scary is if they have really good uh, LRM. Like if they're all four LRM turrets or their sensor locking and LRMing, then it can be an issue. But right now, yeah, you're not doing much. All right, Rocket Man. And you didn't move. Orders. Really? Acknowledged. Uh, it's baffling, but okay. And we're gonna go. 
B, 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 B. Something like that. Acknowledge. One down. Two down. Mech destroyed. You are a devastator. A heartbreaker. And whatever else you want to call yourself. You kill people. That's what you do for a living, kid. Alright, let's blast this guy. Well, we all hit that time. Enemy Critical damage detected. I'm receiving you. Let's get our stability back before we go against these turrets. I'm there. Fire everything. For an alpha strike. Nice. Receiving you. All right, just walk up. Location confirmed. Let's get some stability back. All right. Good to go. Now there's a certain place. Do you have advanced sensors? Why can you see them? There's a certain range where you can get to where they can't uh, see you. Well, I guess there's not here. Standard turret, really. All right, let's take take a shot at this guy. Goodbye. Almost goodbye. Standing by. Hello, goodbye. Affirmative. Okay, multi-target. Turret, this guy, and let's put the. Oh, I guess that, I guess that settles it. Engage in multiple targets. Wait, did I leave the medium lasers off? I'm reading heavy damage to an enemy structure. Bring it down. All right, Darius. Thank God you're here. To tell us what's going on, because I'd have no idea if you weren't. I'll be all like, what's going on, Darius? Don't quite get it. Alright, A is going to be the mediums, and then B, everything else. Engaging multiple targets. Let's make sure we kill all the infantry here. Structure down. It's history. Target building destroyed. Ready for orders. Let's just bring it up behind this guy. Wow, they can't see us. Yes, Commander. So once again, using the side here is defense so that they can't shoot us. When you're doing turrets, you always got to make sure that you have the minimum number of turrets shooting at you at once. I mean, it's pretty obvious, obviously, but... Commander? Um... Just in case you don't know, it's kind of what the way to do. I'll fire on this guy. Target locked. And then we're going to move straight in this way. Might be able to take two turrets here. Let's do this. Alright, so now we're going to split fire on the turrets. Uh, well, I guess we really can't. So let's go all the MM... Well, how much we got left here? 111. We're doing 6 per missile. Times 20. I think we're better off dumping them all on this guy. Who's this guy got in it? Two LRM-20s, eh? Ah. Dump them on this guy. Fire. It's a lot more misses than I was expecting. What does this thing got left? 101. Can't get them both, I don't think. Oh, no, you gotta sprint it, man. Sprint it! Full throttle. So, 101 and 10. Let's multi target A and B. Let's go this route. Engaging multiple targets. Okay, that's that one gone. We don't have to worry about the lerms now. This guy can only really target our two guys over here. 
I have no idea what that back turret is yet. Oh, large laser. Probably an ER large. It's a light show. Standing by. Okay, let's get in. How much damage does this guy need? 61. So the two ACs, I guess. Multi-target. A, B. Go this route. Fire in. Turrets first. Always the rule. So this guy is probably the same turret, right? Yeah. Standing by. Let's bring in the disco show. All in out. Hopefully finish this guy up. Here it comes. There we go. Let's squash these buildings that and get in here and gone. loot this place. Waiting for orders. My order is squash these buildings. 150. Doesn't matter which one. Taking the shot. I should do that one. Bye bye infantry. Brought it down, Commander. And we should be able to take the infantry out in this one as well. Engaging target. There it is, folks. Leopard inbound, Commander. I'll meet you at the LZ. Let's loot this place and go home. Alright. We made over a million off that military base. There's some good hardware there, which is awesome. And... Good experience on this, and this time we didn't uh, lose a mech, which is, you know, <laughs> the first time in, I guess, the last three episodes. All right. Nice. All right, so let's have a look what we can pick up here. Uh, that's a weird order. Why is it, like, somehow, I, whatever. I have no idea why it's doing it this way. <gasps> TTS plus two missile. That would be nice. Get those MRMs hitting a little more often, I think. Uh, what else do we got? Double heatsink kit, which we should probably take. I'm thinking if we're going to use it, we're going to use it for the uh, for our new mechs here. Uh, light machine gun array, or just a regular machine gun array hand. Don't want any mech parts. Nothing up there we want. So let's take let's take the double heatsink kit and probably endo steel. I think we'll go that route. We still need more endo steel, so let's do this. Picked up a javelin and a Jenner part, MML5. Oh, XL gyro, excellent. We do need that double heatsink. So we made out really well off this one. All right, let's see what we got here. Ah, hundred or sorry, that's only eleven thousand or twelve thousand almost in total. Nothing. Nothing in repairs. So now we can start working on our mechs. Um, oh, we didn't lose a day on financial report, which is great. So that's awesome. Um, let's go and look. Actually, let's not. I think what we're going to do is we're going to, be between episodes, we're going to jump system. Uh, we're going to get our mechs back and working. Let's move the victor up. We want to get that guy back into play. Um, we want to get the Centurion fixed. I can do that between episodes. We're just going to fix what we've lost. And then let's move Hunchback up like this. So nine days we'll have all the mechs. So we'll try and find a system that's at least nine days away. Uh, we'll be into the next financial report, but we'll still have over a million C-bills to work with. we got to get our Jager mech and the Victor up and running, I think, before the next battle. Um, so we can take on like three and a half Skull missions now. Um, that's the goal anyway, so we'll see how it's going. We're going to get a second Lance up and running too, so we should probably look for pilots, which I'll do before I leave this system, um, and we'll see what we get. All right, but we're going to end the episode here. If you liked it, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe, and until next time, we'll see you all later.